Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hey everybody. I'm here with Jade. Here with Jade. And this is the first part in our video series where we're transforming Jade to different things. So today we started with the beard cover, and then we covered part of his brow, and uh, did the orange cover on that as well. And just powdered it all so that we are good to go. We also primed with the NYX Cosmetic Honey Dew Me Up Primer, and that's just going to give you a good base for all your makeup. We're gonna learn so many things. This is my first time doing this type of video, and so I'm very excited and uh, I'm very looking forward to the future of having more of these things happen and more collaborations with JJ. We have many ideas, potential series, and sort of things like that, and adventures and adventures and whatever sort of thing. Um, this is the seed of all of this, so today maybe like the basic, you know, masculinity, femininity things like that. I remember shaving my beard before and I was talking about how when I see myself in the mirror with facial hair, I feel more attractive. I don't know what it's about, but I was saying maybe it's because when I take it off, I see my face that I had when I was like, in high school or something, which back then I didn't know that I was handsome. I thought I was weird looking, but I still have the same face, which is interesting to me. Shaving the beard off just kind of like shows me my old face, it but it's not a different face, yeah. you know? it's the same face that I used to feel was, wasn't attractive. Now, there's like remnants of that, so when I take it off, it's like, I go back there in a way, yeah. and I, I feel like I look weird, or I look like rude or something. You're used to the way that you kind of present yourself in the world yeah. now, so I guess like, maybe that's kind of a part of it too, and you don't see who you see yourself as now. When we were talking about it, so a lot of people think that I'm always clean shaven, but it's not the case. Like I like feeling more masculine, like you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So I do days where I grow my beard. Like I just had to just shave it off today for this, but I grew it up for like. A and, week. and you've posted like stuff where you have like a sort of a beard that's starting, and like <laughs> exactly. I think that was really beautiful. Okay. Thank you. And that's kind of how I started with makeup too. Right, right. Kind of like playing with makeup for the fact that like I wanted to do myself up when I was going out, mm -hmm. and then I kind of switched over to doing no beard, no masculine makeup, and really playing with like gender as an idea. So I forgot to mention we're using the NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. Uh, it's a full coverage foundation. They just released this not too long ago. It's actually really cool because there's 45 shades in it. And that's something that we're seeing a lot of like cosmetic brands do where they're releasing full shade ranges. Especially the darker shades you wear. Exactly. Now you're seeing a lot of darker skin tones come out and it's amazing that NYX Cosmetics is like an affordable brand, but they're able to release so many shades. Good. Yeah. So you're going to look worse before you look better. That's always how makeup works. It's how life works. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's how they look at RuPaul when they're like, Go back to my Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I look like right now. Exactly. So what I do is I bring it down. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the HD Studio Photogenic Concealer from It's Cosmetic. So this is CW02. Like I said, I always go a lot brighter with my concealer. Even though you covered my whole face, you still didn't cover up. Oh yeah, that was just a beginning. So this is a concealer, so this is the highest point of your face. Whatever you want to stand out more, so the highest point of your face, so like my cheeks, I always do the lightest. Like anything that you want sunk in or like deeper, you do darker. Right. So you obviously have been on Shadow Hunter. Do you find that there's prejudgment with like sexual orientation or anything like that? Well, it's an interesting thing because I feel like I don't use my sexuality as my identification. My sort of self-awareness that has evolved over the years and stuff. So I identify as a as a being, right? A being that is like beyond gender, and beyond sexuality. So like as my source or like my basis of who I am. Yeah. And uh, my sexuality, you know, is like an afterthought. And acting, it's interesting because you know my job as an actor is to be an actor. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's to play people that I'm not. So for me, it didn't make sense to me to get away from a certain label to then attach myself instantly to another one. Yeah. We should be going away from labels, exactly. not into them, not attaching, micro-labeling each other exactly. even more, which goes away from the whole thing. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start contouring highlighting using powders. So this is the next cosmetic highlight and contour pro palette. And this is where we can start actually carving up the face. Ooh. I've seen you progressively discover your, your style and your face and all that stuff. And it's been so cool to see over the years. 
the first time you painted on someone else, how did that feel? It's always scary. It's funny because when I started doing makeup, I started doing like painting myself to go out and then I'm doing a kind of makeup. Now, because I'm so used to doing my own face to go out and to go to these events, I, like, I have a certain style. So when I'm doing other people's makeup, it's hard to like branch away and, and not think so like, consciously about like how other people look at themselves and, and see. Right. So it's um it's nerve wracking or was nerve wracking, but like I guess you kind of start to like trust yourself more and then uh, build the confidence. I noticed that some drag queens like it looks great on their faces, mm -hmm. but when they translate it to someone else, it looks it just doesn't work. Copying like this is how I'll be mine and then I'll put it onto your face. Yeah, exactly. And you wanted to do that against your face. Great. <laughs> well, you said you wanted like a dimple on your chin. Yeah, so I'm like, like obsessed with getting a uh, chin dimple today, so, so we'll do that. We're going to do that. <laughs> Start it off with a bronzer. Yeah. So basically, the first shade for powder that I do is carving out the features that I want to see. And then what we'll do is we'll progressively get darker. Again, because this is kind of like boy drag, yeah. we go extreme. So we're going to go with like the darker shade okay. and then really chisel it out. When I'm doing contour, I don't bring it down as far as I bring the bronzer. So the contour is really just focused here. So I have a question. Mm -hmm. So if we're doing this and obviously this is different than what you're used to. How do you feel people you're following and even just people you work with, how would they perceive this? Well, I think they'll love it. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. yeah. And everyone I work with knows me, loves that I love um, art, first of all, and I love to wear art. Actually, I told everybody, especially like all oh, the channel I just guys, and everybody was super excited. Yeah. My following is super cool, open-minded, um, creative people who I think are already feeling the vibe, and most of them are very excited as well. I'm doing this like because I love I love art, and uh, I love collaborating. Yeah. I love showcasing talent of my friends like you, you. and you know I would love to create a collective and I just want to explore cool things man like this is this has nothing to do with sexuality or with uh, gender it's just been sort of distorted that way in our society these days people are so focused on like again gender sexuality and, and if they look past that and just look at the artistry and like what what's the message what, what are you actually creating mm -hmm. and what, what you want to achieve with it right i think that's more important it's just the way that we are so hypersensitive to to labels now that we have to label everything to a certain extent to make ourselves feel better or know where we fit in the world. That that's the behavior thing that I kind of resisted all is just discovering that you are different and here's a full community that's opening up to me and this is the type of behavior that they have and so now I have to take off a mask and put on another one. Exactly. And that's where I remember resisting. But that goes you know it's a different conversation is that to accept yourself yeah, as, your, as your authentic self, yeah. are you are you embodying your authentic self that has no behavioral personality, or are you realizing okay, I'm so that means I gotta act like this, I gotta say that word this way with this yeah. voice, and why go away from like one limiting belief of perception of self into another? And I think that's something that I had to deal with a lot growing up because I grew up in a small town. I was one of like two gay kids in my high school, and I didn't know where I fit in in that situation. And then I moved to Toronto and it wasn't until I actually started surrounding myself with like the creative people that were into hair, into makeup, into photo shoots and fashion, that I really started understanding what I was missing out on for some Right, time. yeah, yeah. And that's when I really started discovering myself. And now it's kind of like the opposite where people are like, okay, everything you do has like the gay community involved. And it's like, yeah, because that is such a huge part of me that like I didn't respect or understand for mm -hmm. such a long time. I just want to connect with my inner greater being. Like, that's my goal in my life, is to be the best version of myself. And it doesn't have a label. We are going to go in with the NYX Cosmetic Love You So Muchi uh, Highlighting Powder palette. And we have three different shades. So this is actually perfect because I always use three highlights when I do my face. Under bum chin that we're going to call it now. We're going to do it here and here so that those two pieces stick out more than the rest. Yeah. Cool? Yeah. Another conversation I have about the queer community is 
how much self-destruction there is within itself. Yeah. Instead of celebrating every time there's something great happening for you know a gay person or a super or whatever, in terms of media, in terms of all those things, we have the tendency to shit on it and then destruct it when we should be celebrating the fact that it's out there in the mainstream. You know? exactly. And that's what I think it's an interesting conversation and I've had this conversation recently quite a bit. There is so much competition and it's like you have to uh, tear down other people to succeed or they have to compete with you to do better or one-up you. At the end of it, it's like one person's success doesn't mean you're a failure. No. Stop comparing yourself to other people to uh, kind of figure out where you are on the scale of success. Right. It's not like that at all. No. It's the same thing with LGBTQ community, right? It's, it's a constant battle of like, oh, you're too feminine, or you're too masculine, or oh, different ethnicity, like Asians have a lot of harder time right. in the gay community because it's looked down upon. And it's like, why is that a thing? And why are we, it's, it's the total pull of uh, this intersectional feminism where- It's interesting. Yeah. We have, to, we have to ask ourselves, honestly, where do these, where do these judgments come from? Do they come from, from our actual community? Or has it been deliberately added to society so that there will be conflict? Yeah. It's a very, very important thing to ask ourselves. And I think that's the key is looking at something and questioning it and understanding it. And that's kind of like what my mentality has been for everything that I do. There's a normal human reaction to be like, well, if I'm rejected by this group of people, I'm gonna reject them back. The cool thing about being different is that from a really young age, we're propelled to expand our consciousness. If we don't fit in a little cube, right away, we don't fit the box. And right away, we have to start being like, hey, who am I? And we expand, expand, and discover the truth, really, an underlying truth. You know, if you don't get caught up in the other label stuff, it's a vast, vast intelligent being. It's part of the cosmos, it's part of nature. And because we've been separated from the norm, we have the responsibility to be even more accepting than others. Exactly. We have to love even the ones that hate. That's our job. Like That's how it's going to evolve. You can't swing all the way back to the opposite because then you're just doing the same thing. It's like a war and fighting will only create fighting. You cannot fight with fight. You have to expand your consciousness. Um, yeah, anyway, the <laughs> That's what I talk about. What's my hair going to mess with the boss of the channel? My friends. Yeah. I mean, it's so much fun. Because it's pretty much the same people for years, right? Yeah, same people for years. We all had, you know, our, our lives changed all together in a big way. Yeah. That's shit that. We were still traveling the world together and you know, the and we have that. We'll always be bonded like that. But it's fun when you were all throttled because we were shooting. Everybody lives on the same street and we just, you know, shoot and go out. And, we just finished up the brows, so I used the next concealer just to carve underneath the brow to clean up the line. And I also used concealer as the eyeshadow base. We have the Wind California Cosmetics. Look at how pretty that is. Mm. So we're going to go in and we're going to start doing shadows. Sick. So I'm going to give you a little bit of history about our relationship. Yeah. Sure. So, okay, this is another kind of like full circle story. When I first moved to Toronto, I moved here for a mentorship in the film industry and I ended up uh, finding a, a condo that was brand new. A really cool building that was like an arts building as well as a residence. And one of my best friends who uh, is a fashion designer, she's an artist, but she, she was a fashion designer at that point. She was doing a first runway show, okay, in Toronto. And we had just met, you know, mm -hmm. and like, yeah. at that point I was like, okay, we're making people involved. But then my friend sends me the address of the venue of oh, Fashion Arts Toronto and I look at it and I'm like, that's my address. I live in this building, you know what I'm I live in this building. And so we had a fitting, all the models came in and at that point I met JJ and he was like into like sort of gender bending and just be gone, like yeah. your vibe, like, yeah, exactly. the seeds like, of it. The beginning of it yeah. all. And then I told my friend, she was so into it and then the show happened and JJ walked the runway with my friend. Yeah. And that was the beginning, and then we, we chilled and we would like play music and talk about our dreams and everything. I have a funny story, I think, like I don't know how you feel about me sharing it, but I remember 
I remember being in a place in like, it was like a group of us and we're all just like hanging over her. And we were talking about like you getting into acting more and we asked to see some of your audition tapes. Yeah. So you played some of your audition tapes and it was like so cool to see because I can't act and I'm very modest <laughs> So it's like, it's really cool to see someone that like is good at it and like the process of it. Yeah. And then seeing you from then to now is like even wow, cooler. Cool. Um, and then you have like crystals and you have insights. Yes. And I was like, it's totally weird. Yes. Yeah, and I could feel like we always have, have a connection. And, mm -hmm. and then the weird, you know, years went by and we kept in touch. I followed your stuff. I saw you evolve into your vision. And I was like, this, this is great. It inspires me so much when I see others go for their vision, you know. And um, like you were saying before, we all thrive together. We all rise together, really. Especially in our day and age now. It's all about thriving and yeah. when someone else around you is thriving and you're thriving exactly. and you're prosperous and when you celebrate other people's success all it does is enhance your own exactly. because then you're opening the flow of prosperity to flow through you which is a, a flow of joy and of, of love i had a, a moment where i was doing things for the reaction of other people and what i wanted or what i thought other people would want to see me do and when I realized that I wasn't doing things that actually made me happier or what I wanted anymore, then that was like a moment where it was like, okay, no, I actually have to start doing things that I want to do again. And this is one of the things yeah. where it's like, yeah, just doing something because it means something to me yeah. and that I can express how I feel yeah. and, and having a voice and sharing that voice, whether people agree or disagree, it's the conversation, it's the understanding and it's challenging the ideas that we're like pushed in like society. Right. And and also, it's so fun. <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> I sometimes feel like I'm not the same as I was a week ago. No. I, I watch videos that go through or whatever. I'm like, who is this person? But it's interesting that people think, like, and this is something that I've always said even about relationships, like, relationships have to be whether it's friendships or partners. Like, you have to be able to grow to, together yes. because, like, I'm never going to be the same person that I am in this moment. I think you have to be willing to evolve and accept it and also evolve with other people mm -hmm. and accept that other people are going to evolve around you. Have you ever had someone say that for you? Especially sure. with like, with like Shadowhunters and like the different things that you're doing. Do you ever have anyone like question like, have you changed or, or did you feel Oh like yeah, I think I can see that. I felt it right away actually. It kind of isolated me in a way where I became separate yeah. from most others that are in my field because I quote unquote became successful. Mm -hmm. So the cool thing is that I had, you know, a freaking awesome group of friends that I was doing it with yeah. that at least we knew what our lives were and how I could relate to. And, but the cool thing about that is that when I embraced my thriving and sort of my upliftment, then others that were on the same vibe Oh, or next to me, exactly. like you. Yeah. Like we didn't even try to stay friends. No. Years, no. But because we were in the same vibe, you were just right next to me, yeah. walking along, happy and joyful, and sort of going for your thing. And I was there at the same yeah. time. So all the ones that were sort of lifting with me, we were all going. Yeah. And that's kind of how it is. You know, there's friends that sort of fall off because they see your success as their failure, maybe. Okay, so we just finished the eyes with lashes, liner, mascara. I used the NYX ink liner to do my signature dots. We're gonna do the final step, which is the NYX liquid sweaty metallic matte lipstick. Oh wow, this is <laughs> another being. This is fun. That's cool. Yeah, this is really cool. So she is ready. Oh, she is ready. Great, I'm, I'm ready to go to the pharmacy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, everyone, so this is the final look. The giveaway. So we've yes. got a $200 NYX Cosmetics giveaway. To be qualified, you have to follow both of us, NYX Cosmetics and NYX Cosmetics Canada on Instagram. You've got to comment on this official post, tag three of your friends, and tell us why you would love to receive uh, the package. The prize is actually really amazing. I wish I could keep it, but we're opening it up to you guys, and it's going to be international. This is the first time that we do this. There's going to be many more variations and we're going to continue the discussion. Please comment, tell us what you think, tell us how you feel, tell us what this inspires you to do. See you soon and thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Jay. Cool. Bye. 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 Peace.